At the end of this video, you'll be able to create a cool custom glitch effect just like this in Filmora 11. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Back in my day, we had no choice but to watch movies on these awful things. But nowadays, retro video effects are very popular in TV, movies, and even games. You can use these effects in lots of different ways, like making fake vintage footage or emulating a glitching computer. Today, we're gonna break down each component of the retro look and how you can make your own glitch effects in Filmora 11. And if you haven't already downloaded Filmora 11, you can do so at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. Let's get started. Chromatic aberration is basically a big word that refers to how old lenses tend to split colors. This effect is very common in old media like VHS or Laserdisc. Because Filmora is awesome, you can click on the Effects tab, search Chromatic Aberration, and drag the effect right onto your clip. This gives you a really cool pre-made version of the effect. But we can make a better custom version ourselves. Once you have your clip on the timeline, create two more copies by selecting your clip, going to Edit, and clicking Duplicate. Put the new copies on the layer above the others, and make sure everything is lined up exactly. To create this effect, we're gonna separate the color channels on our clips to each of the primary colors, red, green, and blue. Don't worry, it's really easy to do this in Filmora. Let's start with the top clip. Double click the clip and go to color and open the white balance option. We wanna make this layer completely red, so drag both temperature and tint sliders all the way to 100. That's it for the top clip. Let's click this little eye icon on the timeline to hide the top layer and move on to the middle layer. Double click your clip, go to color, then white balance, and set your temperature to minus 100 and your tint to 100. That's it. Finally, hide this layer just like before and do the exact same thing for the last clip, except make this the blue layer by leaving the temperature at zero and setting the tint to minus 100. Now the fun part. Double click the clip in the top layer, click the video tab, and open the compositing options. Set the blending mode of this top layer to soft light. Now click on the clip in your preview window and move the image over by pressing the left arrow key on your keyboard a few times. Once you're happy with the top clip, hide that layer again by clicking the eye icon. Now, let's make the middle layer visible. Double click the clip in your middle layer and set the blending mode of this layer to screen. Then click on your clip in the preview window and press the right key as many times as you did before. And that's it. Make all the layers visible by clicking the eye icon and take a look at the result. And now let's move on to the final touches. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite Filmora effects to take your glitch to the next level. A vignette is a dark border that fades in around the edges of the frame. In Filmora, adding a vignette to your video is as easy as clicking the effects tab and typing in vignette. Drag the effect called vignette radius to a layer above your previous three. Then adjust the length to match the other clips. The VHS static effect. You can find these in the Effects tab by searching VHS Static. Drag one of them to a new layer above everything else and extend it to match the length of your clips. These two effects add really cool VHS distortion lines to your video. On the other hand, the VCR distortion effect will make your video look extremely glitchy. My favorite way to use this effect is to cut it really short like this and intersperse it around my video in random parts. Speaking of crazy, the glitch distortion is even more intense. Once again, I recommend cutting this one very short and dropping it at random parts of your video. You can even use it as a sneaky way to hide cuts in your video. Now that you know what all these effects do, 
feel free to mix and match them in your video. And of course, there's so many more effects in Filmora 11 that you can play around with. Get creative. And now you know how to create your own custom glitch effect in Filmora 11. We can't wait to see what kind of crazy glitch effects you guys create with this tutorial. So make sure to leave a link to your video in the comments below. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to see more videos on the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.